made a huge stop, gave us a uh, great field position. Then we were able to capitalize that on our offense and go down and score. But um, then, we, then we did a good job in the middle eight defense. Uh, held strong at the end of the first half and then we were able to obviously we didn't get a touchdown but we were able to get a field goal out of that and that that really helped us uh, just continue to add to the lead in the second half. Drew, my, my apologies if you have been asked this earlier but do you feel like you just played the best game of your college football career and if so why is that? Uh, I mean I don't know if it was one of my best it definitely I think one of the reasons I I was just playing free and loose today, and that's one of the things I, you know, stress throughout this week of practice is uh, obviously I want to be perfect in everything I do, but that's kind of unrealistic. I'm still going to uh, try and strive strive for that, but I'm going to go out there and play my game and play free and loose, and I think um, Coach Yersich, again, did a great job of getting me in rhythm early with stuff I like and stuff that was good for the offense, so we were able to get the ball out quick, get it to our playmakers on the perimeter, and they were able to, you know, get five, eight-yard gains, and that really set up the whole you drive. You took so off and ran a couple of times, too. I mean, you can do that. How much of a benefit is that to the offense for they, the defenses know that they have to account for you in the run game? Yeah, uh, it's definitely something that, you know, I'm, I've been working on ever since I got here, um, specifically in the offseason with the string staff getting uh, leaner and faster. I think that's starting to show off more uh, now, especially today. Um, I mean, they, they – we had, we had a couple of nice draws uh, game planned in where it was like a little bit of RPO and they emptied the box with the motion. And I was, the line did a great job of getting up to that second level on the defense and giving me two ways to go. And uh, yeah, it's definitely something that I just want to keep improving on for sure. What makes so Khalil such? The last two weeks help you guys this week go out and have a good performance? Yeah, it's one of the, or you're going to hit adver adversity throughout the season no matter what. And it's all about how you respond to that. And I think we've done a great job of responding to that well and in a positive manner. And I think that started in practice uh, last Tuesday when we were preparing for last week. And uh, we've been practicing really well. We've been practicing uh, very competitively when we had the good on good periods. And uh, yeah, I think that's just helping us in the, in the games because everything, we're practicing so hard that the games are coming like a little bit smoother and easier for us right now. Drew, sure, I might start calling you. After the last quarter last week, where you stopped trying to play so perfect, I mean, what triggered that? Uh, I think it, it really set in when um, that last drive, when I just went out there and was kind of confident in myself and took a couple deep breaths and kind of took in the moment instead of uh, kind of over analyzing things in the moment. I think I was just able to, you know, find that inner self confidence that I've always had and kind of, kind of just go out there and perform. And um, yeah, I think that's really what triggered it for me. Sure, Joel, I might start calling Drew. Khalil Mister. On Kayshawn's touchdown, it looked like at the field level he was hit at the five or six, and he kept moving. The offensive line kept moving. It feels like that's happened a bunch of times this year, where your offense has played to the whistle when other guys might think they've played some. Mm -hmm. How big of an attribute is that for this offense? And what does it say about your offense? Uh, it, it's definitely huge. Uh, we we stretched up throughout the week, especially on the quarterback sneaks and all like the, the heavy personnel packages that we have. Is playing through the whistle because uh, you you can either get pushed back or you can keep moving the ball forward and uh, you just got to I think the offensive line does a great job of embodying that they're very uh, physical and just aggressive up front and then you have two backs like Nick and Fat that will just run anybody over in the site and keep turning their legs I mean they squat it they squat a ton so it helps it helps uh, that, uh, pay off on the field but I think that that's kind of how Fat Man is specifically on that run he he runs angry and he runs mad, and that, that's something that we uh, we really appreciate from him because he's the same guy every day in practice and throughout every game of the season. And uh, I think that really showed up tonight for him. Drew, yeah, I might start calling. Yeah, you look at, was that the most cover zero you've seen all year? Yeah, that was definitely the most cover zero we've seen all year. But uh, I think we had a great zero plan going in this week because we knew they were they were aggressive, especially when we started getting on their side of the side of the uh, field and on like third third and medium situations they were going to be aggressive and I think we did a great job of just being prepared and um, receivers did a great job of uh, having eyes on me and uh, I was able to get into some checks coaches helped me out on the sideline getting into some checks too when they were bringing zero from uh, from super deep and uh, yeah it was, just, it was just something that we had to keep building on because uh, we can't let cover teams play cover zero on us consistently. We got to take it with that mentality that we want to go score a touchdown versus on cover zero. Uh, so we just got to keep building on that. Sure, I might start calling Khalil Mr. Plurfin one. What makes him so effective in those situations? I, th I think it comes down to the uh, the play design on those plays. Uh, I think Coach Yurcich and the whole offensive staff has a has a great package and. 
um, get into certain plays and really he was the second read on that so so he just does a great job of uncovering and staying on the move um, and taking advantage of every opportunity he gets. Usually if you have safeties up in the box or close to the box, you are under more pressure. Any quarterback is under more pressure. You were almost like in an easy chair back there. The offensive line yeah. did a great job of blocking for you. Yeah, they, they definitely did a great job uh, for me today. And um, I think I mean, they, they've done a great job the whole year. They, they gave me uh, plenty of time back there to go through my progressions and reads and then uh, obviously doing their thing in the run game to open up gaps for the, for the running backs to, you know, crease and get through those holes. But, yeah, I mean, the offensive line definitely gave me a ton of time today, especially on those cover zero checks. Thank you.